Do you know how many times I've said the word rape in my life? I know I fucking hate that word too. It makes me want to peel my skin off. I wonder if you've ever used it. Even once. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Something happened. To me. We were in his truck, um, and we were kissing. And then he put his hand on my leg. But I said no, and but he wouldn't stop. Me and mostly men doing horrible things to women. Don't you know, hit a woman, give her a little. If you're unlucky, you get three months max and counting. But steal a man's car. Now we're talking real crime. He said it wasn't fair to him, me changing my mind. But I never said I would. No, but I never said I would. He's not a human being, he's a monster. He's not a monster, he's just a man. I'm a man? Oh, to God, I'm nothing like him. No, you're not. But you still came to my hotel room uninvited and mounted some kind of <laughs> drunken attack on me. <laughs> I'm being serious, don't help! It wasn't an attack. I was just wanted. What did you want? <laughs> saying no, Jim. Quite clearly, you ignored me and carried on. I couldn't move. I couldn't get up and leave or scream. Anything would have been better than sitting there thinking that somehow this was my fault. A woman once asked a male friend why men felt threatened by women. He replied that they were afraid that women might laugh at them. When she asked a group of women why women felt threatened by men. What? You think I'm gonna do something? They said, we're afraid they might kill us. We all know if I do that, kid, it ends up in the back of some police station, ignored for years, while I sit there wondering when the bomb will go off. Waiting to see if a jury of my peers will believe, believe a woman who wore a skirt a few inches too short. Who did you say no? I, I, I don't know. Did you tell him to stop? Did you tell him no? No. I didn't want to. Men always think in terms of fight or flight. In fact, the most common instinct in the face of this kind of threat is to freeze. If she didn't fight, if she didn't scream, if she was silent and numb, it's because she was petrified. It's because she was afraid for her life. I'm always in that house. I'm always in that room. Not only did you physically rape me, but you violated every cell in my body and every thought in my goddamn head. I can't get out. That's weird. Because no matter what I do, you're still on top of me, and I still can't breathe. Ames, why are you crying? <laughs> because I can't get on the bus. You know the tequila I drank will make it my fault. And whoever did this to me, whatever he drank, that'll be his excuse. I'm glad. I am glad you are stuck in this chair for the rest of your life. I am glad that you will never walk again. Because now you can never hurt anyone else. Never. In that 
state of fear, she might well have been compliant. She might well have submitted. But that does not 